Okay, um, now I'm going to show you how to install the NVIDIA uh, drivers, the FIP drivers. I downloaded from the NVIDIA website um, and the driver must be installed on the ESX host server. But first uh, I'm going to put my ESX server into maintenance mode. Um, this is the uh, vSphere client. Uh, you see, I'm running ESX 510 uh, build uh, 838.463. And now I'm going to put my ESX server in maintenance mode. So. Well, I'm on a, on a shell uh, of my ESX server. <coughs> ah, my uh, entering maintenance mode is completed. Uh, here I have the, uh, the software, the FIP files. Um, I'm going to install this FIP file. Uh, I'm going to do this by ESX CLI. Uh, software web uh, list. This gives me a list of all installed FIP packages. Well, these are all the default packages of VMware, which comes with a default installation of ESX server. Uh, but I'm going to install the VIP file. And I'm going to do this by this command install min v for both mode and then the fib file. Whoa, something is not going right. What is going on? No such file or directory. File uh, VMware. Hey, this is strange. Maybe I, give, I have to give the full path. Uh, no problem, VMFS, volumes, storage 1, install, let's see what it does. This is taking a bit of a long time. I mean, what is going on? It's not working. The installation is, is taking a bit of a long time. This is pretty strange. But in the end, something is. Uh, yeah. Message operation finished successfully. Reboot required false, so it's not necessary. Ah, FIPS installed. Yes. FIPS removed. No, FIPS skipped. No, this seems okay me well let's see if the driver is now listed when I do this command the fib list um, well let's see here it is NVIDIA VMware ESX host driver vendor NVIDIA VMware accepted well this is the installation of the driver on the host. Um, it took a bit of a long time. That looks a bit strange, but in the end, the installation is successfully completed. So we're ready to go. Okay, now the graphics adapter has been installed and the driver 
has been installed to the ESX host, we now have to configure uh, the pool to use the hardware device we've just installed. Uh, I'm already logged into the VMware Horizon uh, View Administrator. I'm using um, version 5.2.0 build 987719. Um, and I've already created some test pools where, with. Uh, VDI and virtual machines. Uh, I'm going to use the test uh, pool uh, number five. Um, click edit. Uh, go to pool settings. And here you see at the remote display protocol option 3D renderer. And it's necessary to put this one into hardware mode. So the virtual machine of this uh, uh, VDI uh, uh, client will use the just installed NVIDIA Quadro hardware of the host. Okay, this is already um, put to uh, hardware. Um, Press OK. Sometimes it's uh, smart to reboot the uh, desktop, the virtual desktop of this uh, VDI uh, uh, computer. Uh, so it will actually configure the 3D uh, hardware, virtual hardware. Okay, now let's give it some tests. Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm using my uh, laptop to show you uh, the actual response of the virtual desktop. I'm already already logged in. Well, this is the uh, VDI uh, desktop. I've um, loaded uh, 3D Studio Max to uh, to test the, the rendering using a pretty uh, complex model of a car and the response is pretty neat and fast so I have to say it's really incredible how fast this desktop really is the car easily swaps around it's just great <laughs> 